Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine and I'm currently a third year PhD candidate at The Ohio State University and it has been a minute because let me tell you, this semester was the worst semester of my entire life. I was preparing to take my comprehensive exams at the end of the semester and I passed. So thank you all for all of your good wishes and support this whole semester, even as I had pretty spotty video uploads, but I wanted to do a little update video and let you know a full video about my comprehensive or candidacy exams is coming up. I wanna let you guys know exactly how it went for me, how I studied, how I prepared, things I would do differently, all of that good stuff. I took my exams over the last three weeks. I had my written exams over a Tuesday and Wednesday, and then the oral exam was the following Tuesday. So this was last week. Following along with that, some very exciting news. After I took the oral exam that Tuesday, um, my friend Justin, who you guys have heard lots about on this channel, had planned a little surprise party with my roommate Colleen and my boyfriend was in town and so he came over and one of our other friends from the program and they had a cute little balloon set up. I'll post some pictures here, but it was so sweet, so kind. They had cake, champagne. It was really nice to just be celebrated by friends after I had been studying and working towards ABD status for the last few years, but a, the last two years, but especially this last semester. Then after that, like I said, my boyfriend was in town. He and I are long distance. He lives in Texas and I live in Ohio for the moment. And after that, we went on a little hike to Rising Park, which is about like 35, 40 minutes south of Columbus. It is where we kind of first became official boyfriend, girlfriend, and we went back there and he proposed. So I am now engaged as a well. Here is the ring. Let's see if it will focus. No, okay, there we go. Here's the ring. He did a beautiful job picking this out. Um, I already knew that a proposal was on the horizon at some point. We had talked about it. We had gone and looked at rings together, um, but definitely didn't think it was happening this week and definitely didn't think it would be happening the night after my exam, which in his defense, he didn't originally want to do it the same day, but weather was gonna be bad later in the week. But yeah, super excited. So that is a big life update. Um, I could share some more details about that if you guys are interested, but I will still be focusing on PhD life. Um, the last big update is where am I going this summer? I am going to France for research. So I leave, I'm not sure when I will be posting this video, but I am leaving on May 31st and I will be in Paris from June 1st until August 3rd. So I have two full months to get into the archives, to do some preliminary research, kind of scope out what's around. And I'm so excited. I have not been back to France since the pandemic began. And I was there when the pandemic broke out. Um, I was quarantined there for two months. I was there in the real height at the beginning because I was doing um, a grant archival trip over there from January until it was supposed to be like July. I ended up leaving in June. Yeah, I'm really excited to be back over there to see all my friends, to take some little weekend trips, and just to finally be done with my comprehensive exam. The feeling that I had when I passed was, I mean, A, relief, obviously, but also like as soon as the exam ended, I felt like I was kind of just in a haze. It happens both so quickly that the, the two hour oral exam, it feels like it's passing really quickly, but at the same time, then at the end, you're just like, are we done? Like what just happened? Um, and then you just kind of leave the room and 
that's it. So it took me, I think, a few days, well, and then combined with the engagement, but it took me a few days to really start to feel my body have a little less tension in it. I like returned 50 books to the library and now I'm starting to feel like I can move out of that phase. So I'm not really sure what my plans are for the fall. I don't have to take courses anymore, but I still can. So I'm kind of debating taking an 8,000 class, which is what here at OSU we have, we call writing seminars. And there are classes that have a structure to them, but you're working towards writing a chapter of your dissertation or an article to get published. I think that would be good to have some sort of structure, but at the same time, I'm so burnt out from this whole like exam experience that it might be nice to have nothing to do except for like my own research. And I will still be TAing again in the fall. So I'm not sure if I'm going to take an 8,000 or not. We'll see. The professor who I would be taking it with is an extremely talented, well-known professor. I think my writing and just kind of the professional aspects of some of being a historian would improve a lot. So there's a lot of benefits to taking them, but I think I might kind of decide halfway through the summer and see what kind of research I've gotten into to see what would be possible to start writing about. Part of my comprehensive exams, I also had to defend my prospectus, which I think might be a little less like defending than maybe some other places who do it separate from the oral exam. We left about 20 minutes for a discussion, some questions. There are definitely some things that I need to polish on the prospectus and keep working towards, particularly in my methodology section. My dissertation is going to be a comparative um, dissertation on France and Australia during World War One. So there's still a big Australian historiography that I am learning and kind of getting a handle on at, in addition to kind of understanding comparative methodology and how best to approach that and how I see myself as a comparative historian, which is totally new for me. So we will see as I advance. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Anyways, I, I will be filming my candidacy exam review video later today. So I will hopefully get it posted in the next week as well. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if there's anything that you want me to specifically address um, in, in the candidacy exam experience or anything like that now that I am moving into the next phase of my PhD. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!